What is going on guys, my name is Roman back again from Ron Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Kaiju number 8, episode 3, Revenge Match. Now, before I jump into this and talk about other stuff that I want to talk about beforehand, I want to give a big, heartfelt, just my condolences, not really condolences, but my, I am worried about you guys, uh, the people out in the Midwest of the United States, the Dust Bowl, as you could say. Uh, yesterday, I believe in Bennington, Nebraska, there was a tornado that caused significant damage. I, I don't know if there was a lot of casualties or injuries. I didn't really read up upon that. I just saw it live when it was happening. And then I got to see a couple of after images of some of the damage to cause. And my heart goes out to you guys. Apparently, there is another chance in, I believe, Oklahoma of another tornado appearing. It was like at a 60% on the tornado alert, which is ridiculous. Um, if any of my viewers are out there, I, my heart goes out to you guys. I really hope you the best and hope that you guys are safe and and the damage is minimal, if not minuscule, if anything, hopefully. Um, and hopefully there's no tornado. I mean, as much as I would actually enjoy probably living out in the Midwest, tornadoes are the main reason why I actually would, probably wouldn't go out there. Uh, I, will, I would always have that fear. Um, but yeah, so, and even if the, my viewers are not, my heart still goes out to you guys. Uh, but yeah. And another thing, uh, going back on to a different topic, uh, to the people who have been saying, uh, get, getting good wick, good well wishes, ble bloody hell, I can't speak today. Uh, sorry, I just got off work. Uh, but the, to the people saying, hey, good luck with your whole friendships and making relationships with other people. Uh, I know you're going through a hard time. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, I read all of your comments. I might not respond to all of them. Um, but I, I really appreciate, I read everything, uh, and it means a lot. I'm actually going to be meeting up with a co-worker soon in the next, sometime next week. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. She seems really, really cool. She's cute. Um, I mean, that's not the main reason why I'm hanging out with her. She actually just seems like a really cool just person to hang around. Uh, she just She's barely older than me, and it just seems like we have a lot of interests that would match. And I believe she watches anime too, so... Another plus. Uh, but yeah, Kaiju number eight. This has been a fun show. Very fun. I know last episode I wasn't super, you know, energetic, and I do apologize, but I I, I was enjoying this that episode, and I'm really looking forward to this episode. Now, Kaiju number eight was actually one of the few shows, uh, I think it was like number one rated for a new property. So nothing continuations like a second season, third season, or a reboot like Spice and Wolf and Bartender Glass of God. Uh... This one and I believe Windbreaker were the two top two. I don't know anything about Windbreaker. I haven't seen anyone talk about it. I mean, I don't follow a lot of anime topic related community at all. Um, but even the people that I do follow in the anime sphere, they've never talked about Windbreaker. I'm curious what new show, so not a remake or a reboot or a continuation or a movie. Um, what which ones are actually really good that I haven't seen? I mean, I'm already watching Go Go Loser Ranger, Ranger Reject, Kaiju number eight, um, Bartender. Oh, that is a reboot, but Bartender Glass of God. Um, and then I'm watching, uh, wow, I'm totally drawing a blank. I'm watching Konosuba, but that's a continuation. What else am I watching? I had to look at, um, oh, Mushoku Tensei, yeah, but continuation again. So I'm watching three shows that are original. Bartender Classic God is kind of an asterisk because I don't know how of much of a recreation it is or a reboot. Um, I'm only watching two shows of the five that are true, just originals. It's not been remade, redone. But yeah, what other shows should I keep my eye on? Because I'm getting to the point where I'm really liking anime. I gotta sneeze. I don't have to sneeze. That was weird. Ah, I felt that. It's right in my sinuses. Uh, sorry, it is getting windy out in Vegas, and it rained yesterday, so all the dirt and pollen is, woo, it's bad. But yeah, um, going back on the topic, what shows should I keep my eye on? Because I'm in this phase where whether or not I should watch it while I'm working out or exercising, and have it as background music, so English dub, or what shows from this season should I watch, and maybe, who knows, maybe I might react to it, who knows? Who knows? Not making promises. I mean, I'm already watching five shows, which is significantly more... It's so literally five times more than last season. But anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode. I'm re I've been stammering for too long, so let us get in to episode three of Kaiju number eight, starting in three, two, one. Let's jam. She's got to be the Sundere. But I mean, she's not acting like the stereotypical Sundere. 
I hope, okay, I'm really hoping that there's not no real, like, super love triangle stuff. I have a feeling it might happen because childhood friend. But I have a feeling just, who knows. Like, she could be, like, you know, significantly younger, too, so. And I believe our main character is 32. You smell like a gaiju. And then I said that he could cover up by saying, yeah. No. Yes, because he said 55, or she said. A girl, you are significantly younger than him by the looks of it, so. So, I mean, you could tell she's high class. I mean, Butler has got bodyguards. Don't show off your kaiju powers. Kaiju strength. To be fair, he didn't transform. Ah. Yeah, the car. That's a Mercedes Benz, though. Oh, I've seen those cars. I don't know the name of it. I think they're weird looking. I mean, I heard they're great inside, but the boxiness to it, eh, not my biggest fan. Intro. Oh, okay. I was about to say. I'll, I'll say it when I get when we get to it. I mean, we know he should, he's going to get it either through technicality or just outright acceptance. This opening, well, I don't really care too much for the music. The visuals, phenomenal. Because you don't see that kind of visuals much anymore. I'll watch this probably one more time. But I am thoroughly enjoying how clean this opening is. It looks really good. What do you think about it? Like visually speaking, I think this is a top tier opening. One of the one of the tops in recent years, not just in general, but in recent years, not the season. And like this season, I say this is so far from everything that I've seen. This blows everything out of the water. It's the music that I don't really care so much about. But I'm also super picky when it comes to music. I can think something is decent. I like it's a decent song, but it's not my type of song. Now, what would go really good with this? I think a rock song, like a hard rock song, would do really well. Or funny thing is, I think a slight jazz opening could actually work with the visuals because of contrasts. This is more like BT. Or not BT, BC. That's the that's the main calling part. Mm. So I'm struggling. I want to go buy a something to do to do practice pull um, pull ups because I don't know I don't have that kind of upper body strength yet the back strength to do that. Um, I know I can do um, the doorway ones, but I'm not sure. I need to go see how much weight it can support. Two nineteen out of two twenty five. Oh no, damn! 
Damn. Who's number one then? Okay, so she's not a Sundere yet. To be fair, he just said remember the name, not in a good or bad way. But she's the Ojo Sama, but she doesn't have the. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I, <laughs> I can't do that. That's a way too high pitched voice for me, for me to do. I could try. I don't want to hurt your eardrums. I'm tempted to do it. I'm not going to. He's also the literal oldest you can be. Is she going to see the name? Oh, is she going to see the name? Is she going to see? The girl, Shinomiya. Oh, oh. He's number two in the fitness. I mean, with hair like that. Oh, the first. Dude, yeah, nowhere near that flexible. Although I need to really practice on that, doing more of that. California? She's American! So she's... Where are your eyebrows? I'm sorry, I, I should have said it the first time, but no eyebrows is fucking weird. I've seen it on people. It's fucking weird. <laughs> I was like, wait, I was like, wouldn't she have some bodyguards around? I mean, are you going to pour water on him, aren't you? No. I like Kafka because of his, like, he has this childishness to it. It's, it's kind of, a, it's kind of adorable. Like, he is not acting like a 33-year-old should, or 32-year-old, I think he's 33. 32. What are those years? Like, I had that kind of drive and, like, childish mentality of, uh, of, um, competitiveness when I was, like, in middle school and high school. Nowadays, I don't care if you're better than me. As long as I do what I need to get done. I'm really surprised, though, that the girl didn't really recognize him. Or, no, I'm no I know she did, but she, she didn't show it. I couldn't read that. I'm usually actually really good at uh, seeing that. Kill him. That's a big look on right off the bat. She's such a brat.
Is it because there has such a strong class? Power or private suits? Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of dope, actually. Does she have her private suit underneath it so it's doubled? Hmm. Now, what's our Kafka set? But is that because of her suit? No, I have a feeling because Kafka's probably like 5%. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, poor dude. Oh. I had a, you know, I was actually thinking about dump too, but oh, that's sad. And he can, can he, I'm sure he can hear that, right? The soundtracks actually works really well with this um, show. So I'm assuming he's going to have to pass through uh, technicality. Hmm. So what's with the masks? She's probably been training spit before this for a long time. 35 now. Can you really? Oh.
Can he, like, half transform? Like, partially transform while in the suit? Oh, she's totally gonna be watching him. Is it your performance? Interesting. Oh, and he'll know. Oh, that's actually smart. He'll know the an anatomy of certain um, kaijus. That's really cool. Flashbang. Stun grenades are um, concussion grenades that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> oh i i'm legitimately curious on seeing what her thought process is i want i want a reunion like i know she saw him for a split split second but yeah yet he's gonna have to in front of the the um that big bigger one because there was Yoju, and then there was a other one. Maybe not. Is it gonna be like don't don't turn on? She's watching. Oh, is the girl? I mean, yeah, who else is going to be causing that much damage? You know, I kind of hope that they have this banner going up forward. It's great. I'm assuming, like, the higher your... Yeah.
Are you fit to continue? If he if he like perfectly transforms, will it regenerate? Like I do like enjoy that he's like he wants to do so much, but he he's literally limited by his himself. Like, he has the heart, but he doesn't have the physical thing. Funny thing is, it's kind of like Deku. I hate saying this. In a certain way, it's kind of like Deku. He has to, tra he has to transform in some way. Oh, standing on a broken leg is ridiculously painful. I wouldn't know, but I legitimately know people who have, bro have broken ligaments. One. It's going to go to one. Point zero one. That I will take it. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's going to end here, you fuckers. It's going to end here, you fuckers. Damn it. Damn it! All right, I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I will. I, I don't think there's an ending, but I, I can't skip it. Hold on. Okay. Ah, damn it! This is good. This is a good episode, man. This is a really good episode. Shit. Okay. This. I'm gonna be real. This one and Go Go Loser Ranger are my favorites of the season. Like by far, in terms of like excitement, uh, Mashoka Tensei is the is the nice and relaxing cue. I know it's gonna change later on, but as of right now, it's it's the relaxing, it's the feel good, it's the cute. Watch cute couples do cute. Watch a cute couple do cute shit and make cute memories, and that's great. Uh, Bartender Glass of God has been a fun, enjoyable ride, uh, and um, Konosuba is just fun because it's it's just fun. But this one, like, I want to see more. I want to see more of the next episode. Same thing with Go Go Loser Ranger. Like, because Go Go Loser Ranger at the same time, I don't want to go super in depth because that's not what I'm watching today. Um, and stuff that I don't know. And because I don't know anything about Kaiju number eight, I'm everything, everything is brand new to me. Even with Go Go Loser Ranger, I read the source material. I don't remember half of everything that happens. So it's actually really fun. But yeah, th uh, this, is, this has been really fun this has been really engaging really exciting i want to see more i don't know how long this is going to last like he's going to do as much as he can with a sheer will i hope that there is more to cause him to pass without reverting because i have a feeling it's going i mean i have a feeling he's gonna have to transform some way maybe not or it's gonna be forced out of him whether or not, because it has to be to deal with that larger kaiju. It, it, it's it's got to be. Everything's pointing towards it. In fact, this is pretty similar to the entrance exam for UA High School in My Hero. I hate using My Hero Academia as a comparison, but it really is hitting. Kafka is Deku, much older, but like it's just... A lot. There's a lot of similarities, but I guess if you've seen enough anime, you uh, you recognize this instantly, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, you are very rarely going to find it a completely original concept, and when you do, it's a dime a dozen. And sometimes they're not always good. Just because it's something's original doesn't mean it's good. But taking an idea that has already been shown and proven to work by doing its own slight little twist on it, it could be interesting. So I'm curious as to see what's going to happen with. Kafka and if he's going to be using his kaiju powers, I I, I kind of hope he does, and I and they don't rely on the whole, and they don't rely on the whole. Shiro willpower can get you through anything. 
Because that is a little bit, eh. I'd rather him slightly cheat. Why? I think it, I think it would make more sense in the human aspect. Like, if you're trying to do something and you know you just physically can't do something, but if you have the option to do it, while it is not correct, it still works. I would do it personally. Is it correct? Probably not, but I'm going to do what I can to get what I want, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Uh, tomorrow, I'm really looking forward to the to Mashoko Tensei and Gogo Loser Ranger tomorrow. Uh, yeah, this, this season of anime has been very enjoyable. I've been loving every single show quite equally. And it's because of how diverse how I feel of every show is what makes it really good. Every show, it's its own unique feel to it. It doesn't feel the same as to another show that I'm watching. They're all unique. And I think I can't... I haven't seen that since probably my first year of doing this kind of YouTube on this channel. So yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. If you're out in the Midwest, I tip my hat out to you. Be safe. Be well. And for anyone going through hard times in their life, don't worry. Things get better. It's only a, it's only a hurdle right now. You're going to get through it. Just like me. Things might be down, but focus on the positives. Sounds cliche, but it does help. Don't focus on the negatives because it doesn't do anything. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.